One of the best parts of the Airstream community is the incredible people. How are you ladies doing? But if you're new to this world and have never been to an Airstream rally, it can feel a bit overwhelming. A little gun shy, some first timers. Yeah. In today's video, we're on a mission to meet as many people as we can and make some new friends. It's kind of like speed dating. So join us as we step out of our comfort zone. Here's some fun stories. <laughs> this is this a PG show. Okay. Where are you going that way? I got you. I got you. And have a few laughs along the way. Welcome back to the channel. It's Rick and Lisa, and today we're at the Missouri State Fairgrounds for the Airstream International Rally here in Sedalia, Missouri. So Lisa, have you enjoyed the, uh, the rally so far? It's been great. We've had a lot of fun, met a lot of great people. Yeah, there's over, I think, 1,300 Airstreams that are attending the rallies, and this area is huge. It's like over 500 acres, so it's hard to get out and meet everybody. Um, but uh, we're going to try to do that today. Uh, Lisa came up with a great idea of how we could help people get around uh, the fairgrounds, but also take an opportunity to kind of meet them. So Lisa, tell them what your idea was. <laughs> well, it's kind of like, you know, the old uh, show Cash Cab. Yeah. So we're going to get on, get in this golf cart and kind of go around and meet people and ask people questions. And... Yeah, give them a ride wherever yeah. they need to go, but they got to play along in the game. <laughs> and the game is kind of a cross, I kind of like think of a cross between like speed dating and um, what was it, taxi cab confessions or whatever. So yeah. we're going we're gonna to call it golf cart confessions and we're going to hopefully find some uh, willing participants that will jump in our golf cart while we take them around to wherever they need to go and just ask them some questions, get to know them and everything. We think it'll be a fun way of getting to meet some fellow Airstreamers and maybe have a, a little laugh or two here and there. <laughs> Sounds good. So you ready to go? I think so. Yeah, we're going to go give it a try, so come along. Possible candidate, let's swing over here and see if uh, she needs a ride. Oh, run her over. How you doing, ma'am? Did you need, need a ride? No, thank you. You sure? Okay. Okay, have thank a great you. day. Hey folks, you need a ride? No. You sure? Yeah. Little gun shy, some first timers. Yeah. <laughs> no. They're like, oh, these strange people showing up in a golf cart. Yeah, we don't want to be on that. You need a ride? Well, I'm just going to ask you a question. It's kind of like speed dating. It's speed dating and come on, it'll be fun. You better ride with them. You're going to have way more fun. All right. Come on. Here, you got to hop up here in the front. So what's the funniest thing that has happened to you while you're traveling? Uh, my wife accidentally connected the city water hose to the flush. To the black tank flush? Yeah. Oh, that's probably not good. <laughs> it was not good. <laughs> it, it was filled not good. It, it was filled up, the <laughs> filled up the black tank and did it overflow into the... It did. Just, just a little. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going the right way? I yeah. figured if you're driving people around, you'd know where you were going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, now that was your first mistake, assuming that I knew where I was going. Yeah, let's go see if we can find okay. someone else. Sounds good. Have you donated blood before? Yeah, yeah. You get a buzz faster when you drink. <laughs> <laughs> How you ladies doing? We have a cat that we leave at home, and we feel really bad about that. We've decided we've got to go home and get Amelia, you know, in shape. Put her on an exercise program? Right. Knock on wood. <laughs> and now they're just jumping in the car. Put you in the hot seat. Yeah. I gotta drop Lisa off over here. She's got a class over there. All right. So where are you guys from? I'm from Erie, Colorado. I'm from, uh, let's see, Indian Town, Florida. Indian, you seemed kind of hesitant there well, for a second. I thought, wait, wait, you paused for a second. I thought, well, maybe she's on the run and, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Don't want to get, let the police know where her uh, last destination is. Okay, no trivia questions though, huh? Yeah, I don't have any cash to give out, so <laughs> hopefully I didn't mislead you on that. No. I'm not an Uber driver, so I, if people don't tell me where they're going, I'm like, ah, I'm just Stop dropping driving. you. I'm gonna drop you off here. I'm finding out 
This is uh, much harder to do by yourself. It was much easier when Lisa was here. Everybody, we've got a celebrity participant on the golf cart <laughs> confessions tour here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get yeah. him mic'd up. I'm sure most of you know Brad Driver from his channel, 13 Adventures. We'll go ahead and get you clipped in here. We've had a lot of great fun so far. We've picked up several folks and-, and Awesome. We're gonna go drive around and I'm gonna ask you all of those questions that I think all the viewers wanna hear. So, Fire away, let's roll. All right. So, Brad, if you could, just tell everybody who you are and what your channel's about. Hey friends, I'm Brad and my wife is Blair. We have a dog, golden retriever named Piper. We have an Airstream 27 foot international rear hatch. Uh, I've been full time in an RV for 14 years. I'm on my fifth trailer. Uh, Blair and I have been married for five years. We met hiking in Zion National Park seven years ago. She she agreed to move into 200 square feet with me, which I think is a pretty awesome commitment. But we've been zorching around the country for a while. I'm retired from the Marine Corps. I had a chance to work for Airstream for a little while, so I learned a few things while I was there. And so our channel is all, you know, 50% travel and where we go and 50% fixing and upgrading things. Oh, okay, so now I've got my first question. Yes, sir. True confessions. I'm ready. All right. We sleep in twin beds. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a PG show. Okay. We ain't going that way. I got you. I got but, you. All right. So I know when we were full timing, Lisa and I, she said, "Hey, you need to go outside. We need some space." Yeah. How has how have you guys coped with being together 24/7 in a small space like that? Well, uh, Blair still works, so she travels for work. So she's gone for four to six days at a time, typically. So that's our time to miss each other and, and time for us to both individually have our space, if you will. But okay. while we're together, we're gone and okay. going doing fun things together. So we still have, yeah, she flies away to go to work. So I, I don't see her for four or five days. Okay, so you're not like me. You don't get on her nerves as much as I probably get on Lisa's oh, nerves. Oh, I get on her nerves plenty. <laughs> I mostly get on her nerves because I spend all the money doing things to the trailer. Yeah, I've been watching your videos. I'm like, man, this guy, he's just got a, he got a money tree or he's got a printing press or something because he's a... Uh, I often call her and say, hey, you got to work an extra day because I just spent all your, all your pay <laughs> you for today. You extend your contract. Yeah, yeah, for real. What is the one thing that really gets Blair going if you, that if you do, it just kind of gets on her nerves? Blair, I don't know. It's, it's not, I don't know if it's her irritation or her irritant, but... Her love language is what I call clean countertops and clean kitchen. So, because she's the breadwinner of the family, uh, I, I try to cook the meals and keep the house clean. So that's my job. So, are you holding up your end of the bargain? All the time, yeah. <laughs> I'm a very good cook. What's your go-to uh, dinner option? What, what's your favorite dish to cook? Probably steak. We have the convection oven microwave, and actually, it's, it does a very good job of cooking these big old thick Costco steaks. Okay. Uh, so we use that. We also have a uh, Instapot thing to cook some stuff into, but air fryer, Instapot combo. We like to cook those in there. Uh, I don't have an external grill because it's uh, another thing I'd have to carry around. But uh, yeah. So what's what's been the funniest thing that you've seen while you've been full timing in your airstream? Funniest? Yeah. I guess I, it's very comical when I pull into a campsite and somebody feels, I feel like they got everything out of the garage and everything out of the storage room in their house and brought it with them to the campsite because it's just <laughs> stuff. You know what I mean? The whole, the, there's no yard left. It's just stuff. Yeah. Is this, Brad, is this your first international rally? This is my very first national rally, international rally. Uh, we've done regionals, done, you know, our, our own clubs. And I, I was going to talk about this on my channel and I was just talking to some Airstream folks about this. I was seriously going to cancel my club membership because I didn't feel like I get, I don't feel like I get the money's worth, if you will, like yeah. whatever the annual cost is. I don't read the magazine typically. Uh, we go, we're in the rig all the time, so we're around other people all the time and doing fun things all the time. But coming to the rally and just meeting more of the community and being around the community again, because uh, it's been a while since we've done an Airstream thing, I, I just re, re up my membership again yesterday. So. I love the club, and if you're new to air streaming, uh, please do the club for a year, and please make your way to a, at least a regional rally. Uh, but these things are great, and the Airstream corporate support is here, and the 
the, the myriad of things you can learn being here is really oh. great. Uh, but again, the community is my favorite thing and the community is the best part about this whole process. It's really fantastic. Yeah, I, I agree. And I think your recommendation of at least join for a year yeah. because you just don't know. And we've met so many great people. Yes. And I just love just getting in the golf cart, picking up people yeah. and getting I'm to know so, them. I'm so jealous of your golf cart. Every time I see you riding around, I'm, like, I'm over here huffing along on my bicycle. And I'm like, man, I should have got a golf cart. Hey, the best uh, <laughs> best money we spent on this whole trip. Yeah, it's great. Well, Brad, I, I think that's going to wrap it up. I've got another one or two celebrity guests. I'm going to try to yeah. get in the uh, golf cart confession. Awesome. And uh, I need to get Blair in here and ask her what I really do to irritate her. I probably don't have enough time on my YouTube <laughs> channel to go through that list. For sure, for sure. So, but, but uh, great, good to hey, see you. Thank I you very appreciate much. it. Yes, sir. Thanks for participating. And before you go, got a little parting gift for you here. Huh. Got a little flamingo air what? freshener and, Love it. and a keychain. Love it. Awesome. So you can awesome. re remember your time here in the golf cart confessional. I'm so grateful. <laughs> Have an awesome day. Well, well, well. So Everybody, this is our most anticipated celebrity guest on Golf Cart Confessions. we got the uh, Airstream Club president, Eric McHenry. We're going to take him around. We're going to ask him all of those questions oh, that you no. guys just want to hear the answers to. So you ready to go? Uh, get this okay. going. And Where do you want me to go? Where we're going to get you over here in the passenger seat. Lisa okay. will get you wired up. I know as the president, you have a very busy schedule, so oh. we'll make this quick. I already got some questions Mark, already figured this is out. Fantastic. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Sweet. All, all the best questions. Let's get let's hit it. Excellent. All right. For the viewers out there that may not know, this is Eric McHenry. He is our Airstream Club International President. Yes, so sir. do you want to make an opening statement? Well, hey, this has been absolutely a blast. You know, we get together once a year as a large club. You know, we have probably close to 2,000 people here, close to 1,200 Airstreams all over the country. And we're having a blast. The weather is fantastic here in Missouri. People oh, yeah. are wonderful. Fantastic. Great stuff. So the best part are the people. The best part are the people. Absolutely. Yes, so. Sir. Now the first question that I think a lot of people want to well, know. The first question: Did you go to the dance last night? Yeah, the costume. Yeah, the costume party. Oh, that was a blast. Yeah, wasn't it? we had yes. a, we had a great time there. Okay. Now I started to feel my age. I was like, man, this, <laughs> some of these people are like the music's loud and just really having a good time. I'm like, oh, I need to go to bed. I tapped out around 9:30. Yeah, I was done. <laughs> but here's the first here's the first question. Yes, sir. All right. So what's it like to be the king? Well, <laughs> if I was the king, I'd let you know. But what's really fun is to be able to represent our club. You know, Laverne and I have been traveling the country um, as international president and, and spouse for probably a year and a half now. Yeah. We have met so many people, you know, from across the country. And, you know, we live in California, and it's just a wonderful treat to go down to, go down to Texas, to go down to Mississippi, to go up to Maine, and meet all these people. And we have this joy of our airstreams. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's relaxed. It's fun. There's no politics. There's no this and that. We're just having a blast. So that is the funnest part of it at all, for sure. What's been the most challenging part of being the Airstream Club president? <laughs> I don't have enough time. We don't, we don't have enough time. We, we, want, we <laughs> wanted to be on the, we're on the road for about six months out of the year. Yeah. It, it could be 10. And we love, as you can probably tell, we love meeting our members, meeting new people, eating new places, and yeah. we, we just have no time. So, so time is your biggest, time, biggest challenge or yeah. biggest difficulty, just it, not it, having it, enough it time. Is, it is. Well, there's so many people in our club that have a vision for the future. Yeah. They know what they want to do to have fun. They know what they want to do to spend their time. They know what they want to learn about airstreams, and we get to go around and listen to all this. So yeah. it isn't as much that you know, we have to come up with the ideas. Y'all got ideas already. Yeah. So I get the ideas a lot, talk to a lot of people, bring it back to the board. We talk about it. Hopefully things we do, you know, moves forward. So in your tenure, what yeah. would you say is your greatest accomplishment so far? What are you most proud of as that you've been able to accomplish? Okay, I'm going to give you two things. I'm okay. going to give you two things. Okay? The, the, the first thing is that we have really regrown our relationship with Airstream Inc. That okay. makes our trailers. Yeah. It used to be our club didn't do a lot of talk with Airstream. 
now they're here with us. We have the chief marketing officer, never been here before to one of our big rallies in a yeah. role. We have a number of people, the executives from the service to the parts, to the trailers, to the towables, you know, to the help. They're here right here for the first year Airstream supply company yeah. is in the, is in the exhibitor. Yeah. So we're working together now. That's and great. We, 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 we know how we coexist. We know what we bring to them, what they bring to us. Um, the second thing is that from the policy standpoint, we have a really engaged board of trustees now. So I don't make the decisions, you know what I mean? So I got like 20 other people on this board of trustees from all over the country that meet four to six times a year now, as opposed to one to two, yeah. and talk about what our members want, what strategic, stuff, um, what strategic alliances we want to make, what partners we want to make, what do we do with our dues, what do we do about our reserve policy, blah, blah, blah. Sure. And they are highly engaged now. And that is both a, a, a fantastic thing, it's also challenging, because we've got a lot of different voices, but we've been able to come together. Yeah. And that's part of it, because that, that will continue in the future after my term is done. So right? I will tell you, as a member, what I think is probably one of the greatest accomplishments that you've been able to uh, achieve is that partnership with Harvest Hopes, Harvest Hopes yes. and Courtesy Parking. So yes. talk about that a little bit. All right, all right. So Rick, so Laverne and I had been Car Harvest Host members for six, eight years before, right? And uh, we love it. But what we also know is that a lot of our members, they want to go to fun, you know, iconic, exclusive, interesting places. But if you could be camping in a vineyard or an alpaca farm or anywhere else, yeah. that is kind of a cool thing to do. And so what happened was one of our, or two of our club members approached me and said, hey Eric, you know, what about something that we do a partnership with Harvest Hosts around making our courtesy parking program which is a great benefit, but it was hardly used, yeah. more visible and usable. And so we ran with that, and Harvest Host has been great, and that's just the phase one, right? We got two other phases with Harvest Host we're working on as part of the partnership. They're here now, they've been wonderful. A number of the Harvest Host people have Airstreams, right? Um, they all, pretty much all I've talked to have some sort of RV. Sure. Yeah, so it's been a great partnership. And we, we didn't really have a partnership strategy before. We didn't know how to evaluate which are the strong partnerships, which are the important partnerships. We do now. It's part of our strategic planning. So it's been fun. Really appreciate your leadership <laughs> and the club and everything. Let me see. If I got any other questions here, Lisa and I were trying to come up with some other questions. <laughs> well, the ride's great, man. Yeah. So here you go. This will probably be our last question because I know right. you're busy. You know, the well, king has yeah. got to get out there and <laughs> check on the subjects and, and everything like that. And, and Kind of rub elbows, but All right, you got so me? so. What's been the hardest thing you've had to do as club president? Anything that's related to money, because we never know, enough, is there? There's never <laughs> enough. You know, our members are Fortune 500 people. There's people that are school teachers, there's people that work in automotive plants, there's people that work all over their thing. Yeah. And, you know, we value their money. And one of my friends said, you know, you want to keep your money in your own pocket if you can. Sure. And so whenever we do anything that affects money, be it dues or be it anything, it, it's a tough thing for us to sure. figure out. And sure. we're very mindful of it. So, you know, we just did a dues increase and it was a tough decision. Yeah. But it was the right decision for yeah. the continued success yeah, of absolutely. our club. But it's hard because, you know, I'm retired. I'm on a fixed income, right? But, you know, um, we have to increase dues sometimes. Yeah. No, you're, you're, very right. you're right. You're right. Well, Eric, hey, I appreciate the time <laughs> and uh, fantastic uh, information. And for those viewers that may not even be Airstream Club members, I would encourage you to check us out. Try it out for a year. Go to a local rally or something like that. You don't know what you're missing out on. And if you're already a club member, hey, thanks for supporting the club. We love to see you at the rallies. Hopefully we'll see you down the road. Thanks, Rick. Brian. Talk to you later. Right. Glad you're All here. Right. Love Thank the smile, much. man. All right. All right. Take care. So that was great getting a chance to talk with Eric, the uh, Airstream Club president, wasn't it? It was, it was a lot of fun. He's yeah, he's a great guy. He's a great guy um, and just really done so much for the club and everything. But uh, he has. We're, we're off to go pick up another celebrity guest that's going to join us here on Golf Cart Confessions. Oh, we are. We are. This so. time. Well, I'm not going to I'm not going to spoil oh, the surprise yet. You're not. But I'm sure many of our viewers 
will know who I'm talking about oh, uh, okay. once we we meet up with them. So, those people are just so friendly around that here. That was our first guest. Oh, it was? Yes. Oh, they remember us. <laughs> yes. But yeah, we're, we got another uh, another celebrity guest and uh, excited to have a little fun and chat with him as well. I got a favor. I got a gun. <laughs> you got 10 minutes? Be a participant on Golf Cart Confessions? Sure. Video? Sure. I'm gonna take you around, I'm gonna ask you all the tough questions and you're gonna give me the answers. Okay. You ready to go? Yeah. This is a new one. So Lisa gonna get the uh, microphone on you. Cool. It's kind of like a combination of speed dating and cash cab. Okay, all right. Let me get my answers out here. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna ask you all the questions. And this is a celebrity edition. Okay. I've already had Eric McHenry on here, the president of the club. Had uh, Brad Driver from 13 Adventures. And now I've got the godfather, Phil the door guy. <laughs> well, let's get her done. You ready? Oh yeah. All right, let's yeah. go. All right, so for the viewers out there that may not know Phil, go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself and where you're from. Well, my name is Phil Enoch, and I've been RVing for about 38 years. We've had all different RVs, but obviously now we've settled on the Airstream, which we really like. Um, I mean, when the business started, we were in Florida, and uh, we're originally from Kentucky. For the viewers that may not know, what, what was the business? Uh, we started and owned uh, no locks. So I had the little device that fit on the door, you know, that yep. helped you, kept you from getting locked out. And then the step stabilizers and the vent kits. And I mean, we just added little things to our portfolio as we could. And uh, we were really fortunate to find a great couple, uh, Deborah and Kevin Rogers, that was interested in the business. We sat and talked and it just seemed like a perfect fit. They've now bought the business and taken it to the next level. You know, they've got uh, an online presence, a real good one that we didn't have, and uh, we're really excited for them. As yeah, well. it's uh, it's well known throughout the Airstream community, the No Locks uh, brand, and that's all based off of what you started, you know, years Correct. ago. And now, like you said, Kevin and Deb are just continuing it on and, yes. and just building on that brand and everything. I know this isn't your first Airstream rally, but now that you're retired, have you had a chance to really sit back and enjoy this one? We have, uh, you know, just the demands when you come to a rally like this and you're trying to work and do what, what Kevin and Deb is, you, you try to Kind of be everything to everyone and what that entails is having a booth but then also in that you know when you if you're if i'm in the booth or if kevin's in the booth we're not out doing work on the doors and helping sure. people with what's really important to them you know the products are uh, important to the people and it's important you know to to deborah and kevin but at the same time so you start splitting those time frames and uh, that leaves kevin out in the field by himself it leaves deb in the booth by herself and that's what was happening with rochelle and i and and uh, it was, it's a little on the tough side, you know? Yeah. I mean, when you get to, an, now, if you go to a rally that's got 60, 65 trailers in it, that's one thing. But you know, you get here to the internationals, uh, Luma line, uh, some of the bigger rallies, you know, they're, they can be rather demanding. So is there anything about the business that you miss? Probably just the interaction with the people. I thought you were gonna say the money. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, because we never did it really for the money uh, to start with. And a lot of people says, yeah, all right. But, but we didn't. Yeah. Uh, but the people, we've helped so many people via Facebook, uh, no, I'm sorry, not Facebook, FaceTime, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, people call with a problem. Uh, I've helped people in Texas and Nashville and all over the place, you know, just with the phone. You know, the technology is incredible these days. And, uh, you know, and if they had a problem, I mean, I try to answer any problem. It doesn't have sure. to be door related or step related or anything. So that. the people is what you really miss. The, the people, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Uh, of course, I, can, I can definitely see that. Yeah. Well, because coming, that's... coming to the rally, you get to reconnect with people, you know. I mean, even like yourself, you know, I haven't seen you since uh, May. You know, I mean, has it been that long? I think it has. I think, yeah, I think you're probably right. Yeah, yeah. So, I've, I've hopefully I've come a long ways. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I was yeah. I was definitely wet behind the ears 
at that rally. Well, I mean, we all are at some point, and that's the thing about the community. You've got to have the um, courage, I guess is the right word, to reach out to people, ask the questions. You know, there's no there's no stupid questions. I mean, we yeah. all started at one time, and, uh, you know, and then if you can help the next person down the line, that's just kind of the way it works, you know? So Okay, so yeah. I'm going to move on to our speed round. Okay. So I'm going to ask you three questions real fast, and you just got to give me a quick answer for them. All right, I'll do my best. So which American landmark would you most like to see? The Washington Monument. Washington Monument, okay. What is your favorite RV app? My favorite RV app is actually a weather app. It's called Drive Weather. It is by hands, by far, the hands down, the best app we've ever used. I'll have to check that out. I don't think I've yeah. ever tried that one. Drive Weather. Okay. If money were no object, what kind of Airstream would you buy? The one I have. It's the perfect I, one for I, you? It is the perfect Airstream for us. I, I mean, we have a 28 foot, rear bedroom queen um, it has more storage in it than we was in it 144 nights last year and no issues no storage issues toes like a dream i just love it yeah we just love it any I mean, tips for uh, people that are considering buying an airstream or trading up or anything if you haven't ever owned an airstream really do your research go into them i mean i know this is going to sound weird but Sit on the couch, sit on the dinette, sit on the toilet, open the doors. <laughs> I mean, do all the things and see yeah. how it fits you, if it fits you, you know, and study what really works for you. You know, my wife and I, we kept a list of pros and cons for quite some time. I mean, physically wrote them down, you know, what, what we wanted, what we liked, what we didn't like. And then when you start RV shopping, you're not starting from scratch. You know, you're able to look and see yeah. what fits you. And, uh, so how many Airstreams have you owned? This is our first one. That was your first we one? We bought our last one first. That's what we did. Yeah. We've got the 27 foot front bedroom queen yeah. and it's worked out perfect yeah. for us. Well, Phil, hey, I appreciate you Absolutely. participating in Absolutely. Golf Cart Confessions. There we go. Celebrity edition. Yeah. You are truly a treasure to the Airstream community, well, everything you. that you've done, thank helping you. out fellow Airstreamers. So, thank guys, you. thank you all so much. Thank you appreciate so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Rick. Bye. Bye. Well, that was great. That was a fun little uh, kind of interview with uh, Phil the door guy. I like to call him the godfather because, you know, he knows a lot about Airstreams oh, and, and has helped us, helped us out. And not just us, but just a lot of people throughout the Airstream yes. community and everything. So, hey, but guys, I think that's going to do it for today's uh, video. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of golf cart confessions if you haven't already uh subscribed to our channel to ask you to consider doing that we'd love to have you follow along also let us know if you have any questions and if you like this content uh, consider giving us a thumbs up but if we don't hear from you hopefully we'll see you down the road see you down the road with much i mean whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. there she went we're gonna have to do a little bit of improvisation imp improvisation here well that was fun it was a lot of fun yeah, but uh, so far my camera rigging job here isn't working too well as it f fell off of the front of the golf cart and then I had to hold it the rest of the way. So let me see what I can do. Maybe I'll try a different clamp or something. So, but we'll take a five minute break. Hopefully we weren't filming just cleavage. <laughs> Buddy, let's this, do is, it. this is going to be a lot of fun. Oh, Yeti cup down. Get run over. Yep. They don't always stop. <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> and now they're just jumping in the car. I'm finding out this is uh, much harder to do by yourself. It was much easier when Lisa was here. She's kind of like the executive producer. <laughs> Trying to do all of the microphones and camera work by yourself, a little more challenging. We'll get Brad in here in the hot seat. Ask him all those questions that only Blair knows the answers to. Yeah. Yeah, let's go see if we can find okay. someone else. Sounds good. <laughs>